Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK. Last year I made a calendar and showed you the stamping that I did for each month. And this month I'm doing the same, um, but it's kind of slightly different format. Last year I bought, used some calendars that I bought from a company in the UK. This year I'm doing them all myself using the Days to Remember stamp set to stamp the calendar part, which is great. Um, it's very, very useful. This will be a set that will stay in my forever stash. And so I started my calendar on um, a couple of Saturdays ago um, on our live session. Um, Jez and Jez and Jill and Jez. Come crafting with Jill and Jess, that's it. We have a Facebook group, so do come over and join us on Facebook if you'd like to. And we'll be going live, I think it's something like the 7th of January, without looking too far. Anyway, I started uh, making my calendar on our, our live, but I didn't have the stamp set then. So I don't know if you can see, I had to photocopy it and cut it out to show where the placement would be. So I've redone those three months that I did. So here's my... Um, my remade one. I've changed it a little bit. I've stamped the snowman in sl smoky slate, which I quite like, and I've just outlined the snow and the snowman in a light pool party blend, um, which I think just gives it a bit more dimension. So that's my January now complete. This one is going out now. That one's not needed. And then my February one. This one was the old one that I did. Where's my new one? Here. And I realised what I've done. I used... Um, sweet sorbet for this one here i've used real red um i think i prefer the one with sweet sorbet but the problem was it wasn't centered and it really annoyed me so this one i measured and centered um and i just did a, a heart you'll see if you watch the video the live video i just um, made a stencil and used uh, blending brushes to do the heart so that was february and then march this was the one that i did on the live and then i've just updated it a little bit um, with the stamp set so we've now got the stamp set and march at the top and then I did exactly the same I colored it slightly differently and I've just done a bit of blending down the sides just to fill it out a little bit um, so those are my three perfect months now so those are going in my calendar and today we're going to start with April so I've cut all my cardstock um, to about I think it's about 11 and a half by I can't remember I can't remember I'm gonna to have to measure I think it might be 12, 12 centimetres by 14, but it will just depend on your the case that you buy. So this case goes like that. So it's a CD, it's called a CD case um, calendar, but these are specifically for calendars, these cases. They're very, very thin um, and they're completely clear and they don't have any um, fittings for your CDs to go in. They're completely flat. I bought mine 10 for 9.99 on Amazon and I just looked up CD case calendars. Um, so you should be able to find them quite easily. Um, but you will need to measure your cardstock to make sure it fits in your case. So this is my cardstock for today. So we are going to do um, April. So I need to get April mounted up here if I can find it. Where is April? It's not easy to read these when they're back to front and they're stuck on the case. But hey, I found it. It's quite small April, so I think that will fit there. Right. OK, but first of all, I'm going to stamp the dates. So I am going to just use my ruler. And I'm going to come up about a centimetre or half an inch because otherwise it will be under the flap on the CD case. We don't want the calendar. So when it when it's opened, it's like this. And I don't want the calendar to be under that bit. I want it to be just above. So I'm just going to measure up about a centimetre and mark the middle so that I can centre it really nicely. Now, if I look back at March... I can see, oh, not that one, where's my real one? It's, it doesn't matter really, I could have done it from that one. Right, the last day of March is on a Friday, the 31st. So the 1st of April is going to be a Saturday. And that's important because when I come to do my, my um, calendar, I need the 1st of March to be a Saturday. So the... And then you've got to line this up so... We want the first to be a Saturday, so that's going to be, so the second is a Sunday 
and that's going to go there then and luckily right april only has 30 days so there's one two three four five so i need two more and i've just noticed i don't know if you have as well that i've got the 31st on there as well so if you do it this way up it's um much easier to see what you're doing and you don't have to mask off the other numbers but you do need to be careful on months when there's only 30 days that you don't ink any of the numbers that you don't want so this is just a baby wipe I'm using here to get rid of the ink off that one Jez worked out that on the other stamp but on our coloured stamp pads the width of the pad is just the right size to get the, the calendar in but I'm doing this with memento so it's slightly different Right, okay, so I'm going to put my middle, which is the 27th, in this where my mark is and just stamp. There we are. There's my month of April. And then I'm going to take the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday sign. And I'm going to put that above. And like I said on my other video, I like my weeks to start with Monday. But you do have the choice with this set that you can start with Sunday as well if you like. So that's totally up to you. Right. And then the last thing with Memento is April. And again, I'm just going to mark the centre just so I can get this really centred. Because it will really annoy me if it's not really centred or annoy me all year while I'm looking at it so um, and these make great gifts if you've got anybody that you still need to give a gift to these make great gifts so if you've run out of time to um, to get Christmas gifts you can still make one of these and Amazon if you've got Prime they'll get the, the, seat, the cases to you in plenty of time right okay so the stamp set that we're using to make April, I thought pansies for April. You quite often see pansies at Easter time, so I thought these were quite appropriate. So what we're going to do, before we start, we need a mar. We need two masks because we're going to do some masking here. So I've got some um, post-it tape. I bought this on Amazon. It's not actually real post-it. It's another make, but it works just as well. It's quite wide. You can just use normal post-its, but make sure you've got a bit of sticky behind what you're doing. Um, and then I need, I'm just going to take fresh freesia and I'm going to, I meant to do one of these before I came on camera actually. What I might do, I'll just do that one. I've got one, one I think I threw in the bin. Just give me a second. I wonder if I can find the ones that I threw away. Oh no, I don't know what I've done with them. Oh, there they are. There we go, I'll, re I'll rescue one that I've already used. So I'll use that one today and I'll just show you how I, I fussy cut this one. So you just need to fussy cut round here because we're gonna mask off tulips as we go. So this is a stamp set that I bought, but I haven't used an awful lot. Jez will laugh when she sees me using this because she can't look at it without thinking Ewoks. And as soon as she says that, then you can't look at them without thinking Ewoks, it's very funny. Um, but I do love pansies. I like pansies and violas, so I've got a lot in my garden and in hanging baskets and pots and things. Um, so I'm just fussy, fussy cutting as close to the edge of the ink as I can, um, just so that I can mask out and get a sort of a 3D effect. I don't want to do any um, cutting out of the actual thing. I want to keep all of the stuff on my calendar as simple stamping, you know, just one layer stamping. I don't want any die cuts or DSP or anything, although you probably have got room for um, for that, but I didn't want to do that. Right, okay, so we're done. Just gonna check, are these clean? Yes, these are clean. Right, we're gonna start, that one's not clean because I just stamped it, so let's find my chamois, because we're gonna start with yellow, so. And what I also need is a bit of scrap paper because we're going to do a bit of stamping up on this project. Oh, there we are. There's a bit of scrap paper for me to stamp on. Right, okay. So I am taking this one first of all. I'm going to do this one and I'm going to stamp it off. I'm then going to do that one without stamping it off. So those are my first two 
images. So I'm doing it in soft saffron. No, so saffron. <gasps> Let's get these names right. So saffron. So ink it up nice and well, but then stamp off and then stamp on your calendar like so. And then we're going to take the other pit one, the next one, and we're going to do that in a full, fully inked so saffron. Now, excuse my head because I may be over this while I try and line it up. Um, it's not very easy to see, and I've got a shadow as well from the camera. So this is not, not as easy to see. Oh dear, I can't see at all. Let's try and get that. It might have been easier to do this one first, to be honest. Quite often it's easier to do the dark one. Right, I'm going to hope that that's in the right place. I made a bit of a fuss about that. It's not won't be as difficult for you to do that. It's just because I've got, I need to get right over it and I've got lights above, so I'm getting a shadow, which made it more difficult. Right, okay. I'm then going to take this bit and I'm going to do that in fresh freesia. Like so. And then I'm going to take gorgeous grey and do that last little centrepiece. I've got two little centrepieces. I'm using the smaller one, that one. And I'm going to do this in full. Am I going to do it in full? Yes, I'm going to do it in full. Gorgeous grey. There we go. So that's my first free pansy. I'm then going to use my mask. Pick it up, mask that out, so just lay it over your stamped image. And this one, we're going to start. I just need to clean those off because we're going to start with um, fresh freesia on this one. This is going to be a purple pansy. Get pansies in all kinds of colors these days, but I'd still like the purple and yellow, the sort of what I feel are the original colors. Just get those all clean I know that my chamois is in a real state I know but it works still works perfectly so I'm not going to change it right okay so I'm taking fresh freesia and I'm going to I'm going to do this one slightly up and overlapping the other one slightly but my mask will mean that it won't go over it completely and then I'm going to take Gorgeous Grape and I'm going to stamp this one off. So I'm going to fill it up. Probably now going to have the same problem in lining this up. Oh, sorry, I am taking my time here. Just can't. Oh, that's better. There we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, excellent. Right, okay. And then I'm going to do fresh... Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to do so saffron in the middle here. And I'm going to come in with gorgeous grape in the middle again. This time I'm going to stamp off so it's not going to be quite so dark as the other one. There we are. And then I just need to do some leaves. So I need to mask the other, the one that I've just stamped as well. So that's where my second mask comes in. And then I've got the two parts for the leaves here. And I'm going to stamp first of all in soft succulent so I'm going to do two leaves over here like so I'm going to do one over here maybe a bit higher up um, I might do one there 
I think that's enough. I was going to do one at the top, but I don't think I'm going to. And then I'm going to take Evening Evergreen. Just knocked one of my stamps off. Put that up before I lose it. Um, come in with Evening Evergreen. But again, I'm going to stamp off here. This is quite a very dark, intense green. So I'm just going to stamp off. And this is slightly easier to line up doesn't need to be quite so precise as the pansy. And there we have it. Let's unveil the masked ones and see if that has worked. There we go. There. There is our April entry for our calendar that's quite nice isn't it i wouldn't mind look, watching looking at that all all um season um what have i done with my calendar now here it is so let me just show you what that would look like this is for april that would be at the front and sitting like that and my calendar i'm liking that very pleased with that so thank you very much for watching today i'll be back with i've got eight more months to do. I'm going to try and get them done by the 1st of January. I'm not promising though. Where are we on the 21st? How many days have I got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I've got 10 days um, and I've got eight months to do. So I might come back and do two days, two months in one day. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do I go back and have a look at the Facebook live video if you want to see the other um, three um, ones that I started. Um, but anyway, that's it from me today. Do come back and see me do May. Um, but I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.